What happens when a white-tailed spider meets the shadow world's cellar spider? Someone will disturb the peace. Meet the cellar spider. Its thin, pole-like limbs make it look somewhat fragile, even weak. But nothing's further from the truth. The cellar spiders are actually pretty good at killing other spiders. They don't necessarily specialize on killing other spiders, but they're really good at it when they get the chance. From their hidden vantage points, they pick off passing prey. Small or large, it makes no difference. And those spindly legs with their multiple sections have the clearance of a monster truck and are as nimble as high-speed knitting needles. Their legs are long and lean and effective for keeping everything at arm's length. They can immobilize rivals from a safe distance by wrapping them in silk before moving in for the kill. Their fangs are tiny, but pack mean venom. Elsewhere on the rocky outcrop, another spider prepares for action. Compared to the cellar spider, she's a bruiser. The white-tailed spider. The white-tailed spider is a wandering assassin. This deadly stalker lurks in the shadows. The white tail is a master spider killer. She's three times the weight of the cellar spider. In Spiderland, she's a super heavyweight fighter. Even a night stalking commando like the wolf spider can be overpowered in an instant. The white tail spider's main weapon is surprise. It rushes out of the shadows to deliver a fatal bite. The white tail pumps digestive juices through her victims, then sucks them dry. Few spiders walk away from the white tail. Would a delicate cellar spider take on a super heavyweight? You'd be surprised. I don't think the white tail has a chance. Next, weaving a web of destruction. These are the shadow lands of the bug world, hidden places where dirty deeds are done under cover of darkness. This white-tailed spider is looking for an easy kill. She's checking out a rock ledge that happens to be a cellar spider's home. And the delicate homeowner will defend its territory to the death, no matter how huge the invader. The cellar spider starts a war dance. One of the things that cellar spiders do to avoid being attacked by predators is they swirl on their legs. Another thing that they might do is pump up and down, and they disappear. Because they're moving so fast, they become invisible. The white tail isn't so easily fooled. She holds her ground. Conflict is inevitable. For the white-tailed spider, it's all about getting the first bite in. 
But the cellar spider moves first. It flicks the whitetail onto its web. The whitetail tries to regain its footing. But the cellar spider goes into silk spinning overdrive. From a safe distance, its legs lasso the whitetail six times every second. But the whitetail is strong. She keeps breaking free. Cellar spider's silk isn't the strongest, nor stickiest in the spider world. But there's a lot of it. And every throw counts. Hundreds of silk ropes entangle the white tail. In a desperate last effort, she tries to slash her way to freedom with her huge fangs. The white tail spider will use its fangs to cut through the silk. If it can get out, it'll run for its life. But the cellar spider counters, hoisting her victim higher. It's spinning too much silk, and the white tail's jaws may not be enough. Thousands of silk ropes finally immobilize the white tail. Enough for the cellar spider to move in for the kill. It delivers its deadly payload and leaves the venom to do its work. A delicate spinner outguns a big brute. And the Shadowlands are quiet once more. But they won't be for long.